In this video, I will show you how to open a CSV file, which is a text file, comma separated values file in Microsoft Excel, like a spreadsheet. You can open a CSV file with Excel, like it's a regular Excel spreadsheet without any issues. And I will explain to you also the limitations with CSV and why it's important to know about them and the format. CSV is a standard of a flat, flat file, a text file, comma separated values and you have the fields are separated by comma or another delimiter which or another delimiter which the pipe could be a better delimiter than the comma because you might have commas in the file at some point and that could break the format of the csv but if the csv file has a pipe separator symbol it's much better i believe so let's check how to open the csv in excel let's check it this sample csv file if i open it and it's a text flat file and inside of the file the csv has the headers you have the columns separated by commas that's why it's called comma separated value because the comma is important so because of that you cannot have a, a value in with the comma because then it breaks the format and then different rows multiple rows so that's the contents of the file and this is the other file i have this is the tsv file which the it's interesting the the fields are also separated by commas but then the values of between the between the fields between the rows they are separated by uh, tabs so we will try to open that one also the csv file you really just double click on it you open it and it's there now if you make changes to the csv file if you make changes to the csv file some changes will not be saved so you want to file You want to choose File, Save As. This is always difficult here. They're always trying to make you use OneDrive. I really don't like it. So, I will, here I, will, I really don't like it. They always try to make you choose OneDrive. Here I choose Excel Format, Excel Workbook with XLSX. The XL x xls is the old one <clears throat> and now i have the csv file it's saved as an excel file and i can choose to format columns for example i save it i close it i open it again and it's there if i would try to choose to do the same thing with the csv file format the column i save it and at least it's warning me <laughs> so when i open it again the yellow is gone because the csv file doesn't store formatting information so that's how you open the csv file and i'll open i'll open also the tsv file so with excel open you go to open You go to open and choose the file here you might have to choose all files and then select the tsv file and now is the fun part you have to know details about the file if it's delimited with tabs then you would use the ta delimited or if it's fixed wide like the first 50 characters are field 1, the next 20 characters are field 2. These ones are delimited, so I also choose my data has headers because we saw the file it has headers. And it's good that the importing tool is already recognizing that we are dealing with a tab separated file and you can see a preview of the actual data here. So this looks like... Uh, these fields here they look like they are in the correct place 
so it looks okay you can choose the data type for each column i will leave them as uh, i will leave them as general and also here you can you can ch change the type of uh, the delimiter type but tab is what we have here so we open the file and i will choose save us again file dot x this uh, xlsx excel workbook and now we have some of this data maybe it's okay i don't know maybe it looks okay like it's a type of information so could try to make a chart with this let's see recommended charts doesn't have any charts to recommend us yeah it's uh I mean, if you wanted to use this information, now you had it in Excel and it's uh, ready to to use. I always I always try to convert the the file from CSV or TSV, and uh, you can also make the TSV to be opened by default with Excel. You can browse to the Excel file and point to the Excel file and choose always and once you do that it's uh, changing the style of the the icon changes from the usual unknown type of file to uh, excel type of file let's say and now it's opening directly with excel just as the csv file so this is actually how to open the csv and tsv so this is actually how to open CSV and and this is actually how to open CSV files and TSV files in Excel. TSV and the CSV is just a difference between the delimiter, delimiter, but maybe there are other differences. There are text files, flat flat files, and which are very well compressed when you zip them. So it's just simple flat text files. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you. Let me know in the comment section below if this video helped you or if you want to see another video, write a video request, make a video request and I might just do it for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share. Share this video, share, share this video with your friends so they know how to open CSV files in Excel. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends so they know how to open CSV files in Excel. Thanks for watching.